Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to test the cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts as the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. Mm. 
是我与所问知的伴，力绝所理想，仿佛的彩。是我与所问知的伴，是我的路。In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate today the memorial of Saints Cornelius, a Pope, and Saint Cyprian, Bishop. Of Carthage in Africa, they were martyrs of the faith, defending the faith. And so, as we honor them, we ask the prayers for us, and we join the the festival of the saints in heaven with them. In the celebration of the mass, we remember them and ask. The prayers and intercession for us. Let us now then acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord Jesus. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people, as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians, brothers and sisters. If Christ spreads us raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that you raised Christ, who we did not raise, if in fact the dead are raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep, is Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are the most peaceable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just attend to my outcry. 
Hear granted prayer from lips without the seat. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes the refuge of your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shade of your wings, but I am justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. We cry for the Kitty ko sa iyo pagsalita. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others who pro provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Many brothers and sisters in Christ, we learn in today's Gospel that as Jesus was journeying from town to town, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God, he had the companions of the twelve disciples and added uh, women disciples. To know more about today's gospel, then let us understand the women who followed Jesus. There was Mary called Magdalene, for whom seven demons had gone out. So she had a, a sad and sinful past. There was Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa also was being uh, cured from, from her illness. So as a way of thanking Jesus, they followed Jesus. So we must also remember that in the Jewish culture, a woman is considered a second-class citizen. In Jewish mentality, she has no value at all. Her words cannot be taken as reliable when giving testimony in legal matters. But here in today's Gospel by the brothers and sisters, Jesus allowed these women to follow him, to be his disciples, to be his partners, to his mission, to work for him, and to attend to Jesus' and his disciples' needs, as it is stated 
that many others, others, these are women, uh, partners of Jesus who provided for them out of their resources. Means to say, they had, uh, they had money. And so as a way of helping Jesus, they maybe uh, cook for the bills. So as Jesus permitted these women to listen and follow him, Jesus was giving to them their dignity and showing their importance. Jesus was portraying them as special, making them somebody, no longer as second-class citizen or inferior, he was accepting them as persons, as heartbeats for his mission. They were therefore trustworthy and valuable for his mission and ministry. Also, I remember it here. In 1991, we had the second uh, plenary council of the Philippines, PCP2, and it went down to all the dioceses, uh, the decrees, and also in all the parishes to have a reform of the way the church is being run. <clears throat> and so the Philippine church in here realized the important role and contribution of active and committed women in the church. They, they serve in different capacities in the dioceses and in the, in the parishes, like uh, maybe uh, catechist members in pastoral councils, in the mandated organizations and the ministries, ministries like uh, to be lay, to be lay leader, or lectors and uh, uh, lay minister of communion and many other other work in the church. Truly, without the women in the church, the work of evangelization and service to the people would be difficult to implement and achieve. So, we have the example of Jesus in the gospel today. He had women uh, disciples of companion in his mission in the world. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, we must also realize that all of us are needed. We can do, share, and contrib contribute something for Jesus. No one is useless for Jesus. Everybody is valuable. Everyone is special, and Jesus has always a special task for each one of us. Jesus has always an important role for us to play in his work of redeeming mankind. So we remember this always, but all of us together, we have to insert ourselves in the work of Jesus in the church today, in serving his people in the world. God bless us. Please stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious of the increase of His presence in our life. So we pray, use us for your work, O Lord. Use us for your work, O Lord. 
that the church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your work, O oh Lord. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your work, for your work O Lord. Lord. That children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your work, O Lord. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your work, O Lord. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your work, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ. Amen. Please be seated. So prepare your head was once a seed was Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be made acceptable to God Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, says Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Yes, the duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, uh, Cornelius and Cyprian, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power. And on the feeble bestow is strength to bear your witness to Christ, O Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you 
request to be heard uh, before your majesty without any acclaim. <laughs> Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts of rain, by sending down your spirit upon the newborn, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and turned willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks for walking, and gave it thanks to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was for well giving thanks. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us once to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be carried into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. And with her to the fullness of charity, together with Christ as a Pope, and God our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that we, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, and spouse, we have the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints of Christ throughout the ages. May Mary to be co heirs to the life of Christ, glorified through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. As the same score for my divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our quest, our sins, 
As we forgive those who press us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be transit. And save for all these treasures, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the said to your pastors, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, and look not on our sins. But at the face of your church, grace is granted is in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now open God in the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the love of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed us called to the supper of Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the ark of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ is strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your sins I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved.
Please stand. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints uh, Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. O oh, sacred heart, O oh, love divine, do keep us near to Thee, and make our love so like to Thine, that we may holy be. Heart of Jesus, hear. O oh, heart, O oh, love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always die. Let us pray the prayer before I close the cheeks. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dear West Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to thine God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>